In today's video, I'm going to give you a full beginner's guide to the one AI email and SMS marketing Shopify app. So let's get right into it. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and go to the Shopify app store and then go ahead and press the install button here on the one app, just like that. And it should redirect you to your Shopify store where you can go ahead and press install. Here we go. Then from there, it should install into your Shopify store. So once we've installed it, it's going to do some onboarding for us. Just press start here. It's going to ask what we want to set up first. This is really up to you. I'm going to go ahead and just put SMS marketing, uh, SMS marketing here. Press submit. And then it's going to go ahead and ask us for our email and our phone number. So go put those in. Once we've done that, it's going to ask us to select a payment plan. Now you can start off with the free one if you'd like to. Or you can pick one of the paid ones. Now they all have a free trial anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and select the basic one and I'm just going to use that. So here we are inside of the platform now. And on the left hand side, you can see there's a ton of different settings and things to click on. So I'm going to start off at the top of AI assistance. I'm going to start with AI sidekick. Uh, AI sidekick is basically just going to be a chat GPT fork, which you can just ask it questions. It's not going to be super useful to use, really. It's just ChatGPT, and it's kind of just uh, adapted for their platform, really. So the next up thing we're going to look at is the messaging system. So we've got two things here. We've got emails and we've got SMS. Now, to start off with emails, we've got a few different things here. We've got our email broadcasts. We've got our email automations, and we've got linked email automations. So for an email broadcast, this is basically like a one-time message. Other platforms might call this a campaign. And it's going to ask us here what we want to do. So a newsletter email with reward or a newsletter email without reward. We'll just try one with reward for now. And you can see there's some templates here. You can also look at some back in stock ones, product drops, newsletters, sales, etc. So from here, you want to go ahead and you want to go ahead and select the email template that you like. So I'm just going to click on this one here. And it's take a few seconds and load up here. We've got like a email builder here. And we can go ahead and just drag and drop different things here. So we've got like brand logo, products. We can just drag and drop it in here. And then when we click on it, um, it's going to bring up the settings on the left hand side. So it's a pretty easy builder to use. Um, you know, you can select products, you can select the layout here, you can select how it stacks on mobile, the padding text, the colors, all of that stuff. It's very easy to use in here. And you can click on any element here and basically just go ahead and change the text, change how it looks. Pretty simple to use. You can also go ahead and look at blocks here. So this is sort of the way it's um, laid out. You've got the different colors here. You've got images and you've got the upload section there. So you can go ahead and just customize this the way you like it. You can also go here onto mobile and check in mobile view, just to see if it looks all good. And if you're happy with that, you can go ahead and send a test email. You can put an email here, send it, make sure it looks good when it actually sends your email. So if we're good with that, we can go ahead and save it. And then we're going to have a little pop up here, which gives us some sending information. So first of all, we have the send to section and here you're going to go ahead and select a segment from your store. So you've got tons of different segments and I'll show you how to create those later but we can just select one so like someone who's abandoned purchase for example we can go ahead and schedule the time that we want to send it we can select to send it either in our time zone or the local time zone of the recipient now be careful with this one because this means it won't send at the same time for everybody next up we've got the sending details so we've got the for who it's from we've got the email we've got the reply to and then here we have the subject line. So with the subject line here, we can just type anything in. This is the first thing they're going to see. So it could be like, hey, this bestseller is back in stock. And then preview line is going to be what's underneath that. We can use their AI here to um, fix it. So we could say improve writing or something like that. So it's just made a little change and we can just press replace. And that's going to put that in there like that. We can sort out the um, coupon type, so we can give it a um, gift card or a coupon. And we can select a reward that they're going to get in here for that. Then we can go ahead 
and publish it and that's basically going to go ahead and send it for when you've scheduled it. Next up we have the email automations tab here and you can click create automations and these are going to give some presets that are often used and automations are basically emails that automatically get sent based upon the user's activity. So we've got stuff like cart recovery, upsells, thank yous, all of that kind of stuff. A common one people use is cart recovery, so we'll start with that, we'll click create. And from here, we can just go ahead and edit what the cart recovery looks like. So first of all, we have our theme. We can select here what we want the theme to look like. I like to keep things simple, so we would just do this. Then we can press apply and next. And after a few seconds, we'll ask about the design. We can go ahead and just build it out, just like we did before with the other email. And you've got dynamic tags in here. So this here is a dynamic tag, meaning this will change based upon the data the customer's been looking at, for example. So keep this as it is. This is all unique data. Again, we can check on mobile. Um, we can do the rewards, all that kind of stuff. Once I have with that, we can press next. Um, make sure you select some kind of reward. And then press next here and you should be ready to go for the settings. So again, we've got our subject line, we have our preview text, we've got our dynamic tag here, so this will be the subscriber's first name, so it'll be like, hey, Michael or John or whatever the name is, we'll put that in there. Then we go ahead and oh, call it a name, so it's say, abandoned cart one, press next, and we go ahead, we can go ahead and um, select the schedule, when it's going to be active and then we can set when it's going to be sent so here this is how long after they've done the action it will be sent so after they've abandoned the cart it will wait one hour and it will go ahead and send this email to them you can also change the segments here if you want to now you can go ahead and save and publish just accept all of these terms here and now if someone abandons cart that will be set up there there's tons of different automations that you can set up there for different things. Next up we've got SMS, it works in a very similar way, you've got broadcast and you've got automations. You can create a broad, uh, broadcast here and for this you're going to have to go ahead and basically onboard with it and verify your numbers all that kind of stuff. But the it's going to be a pretty similar process of writing it and verifying it. We've also got automations which again is very similar to the email automations, we can go ahead and create a cart recovery here, just in the same way as before. Next up, we've got our pop-ups. So we've got stuff like our subscription form. This allows people to actually subscribe to our um, email list. And we have to uh, enable this on our store. So we can just press resolve here, press enable app embed. And then we're going to have to go ahead to the left-hand side here and turn it on. There we go. So make sure it's turned on, hit save. And now we're ready to use the embed tool. So just press confirm and cool, we're ready to go. So we can go ahead and create a subscription form here. Um, click create pop up. I'll just call it sub one. And it should open up a new tab which allows us to build it out. So they've got a few options here. They've got a pop up of a reward, they've got a spin wheel. Uh, they've got without reward. They've got all these different ones here. You've probably seen all of these before. Um, so we can go ahead and just add this one, for example. Click Quick Setup. You can go through these settings if you want to, and you can just click Publish. And now this will have like a spinning thing, which gives people a discount every time, and it basically gathers their email in. So you'll want to set something up like that. But well, that's basically how you use the one Shopify app. If you found the video useful, be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below that the video helped you out so other people get the same advice and see the same video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.